Hello YouTube, it's uh, February 16th of 24 and uh, we're back in at the uh, kitchen table. If you haven't been on this channel before, this is uh, Beejan living like a boss and uh, we're uh, changing our mind from yesterday. I thought I was going to uh, be working outside there this morning, but it's colder this morning than it was for the last two mornings in a row. It's just getting colder as the days go on, but the sun's shining all the time, so it's an improvement on that in that regard. And I was, uh, when I left the uh, project yesterday, I was going to make gaskets or put some form of gasket, this RTV silicone I was going to use, and put it on uh, the machine. But being it's so darn cold, I brought the uh, the uh, plates and the uh, surfaces inside that need to have it and I'm gonna got them warmed up so I'm just gonna put the silicone on the edges where it's supposed to be here and just let that uh, skin up a little bit and then uh, uh, go outside and put them in place on the machine so let's get on her I gotta make sure uh, I don't think I punctured no nope. I'm gonna puncture this uh, puncture that uh, tube and put the uh, the little nozzle on it so let's just start with the circular one this is the shifter hood We'll call that good enough. Side here. Bring this plate in, and we'll do the same on it. Okay, <clears throat> boy, that's a hard on the old uh, lungs in the. I got the door open and even the vapors are bothering me, but. Uh, okay, we're going to uh, get ourselves set up outside. I got to do a little cleanup on the surfaces there, maybe one uh, scrape it and uh, run the wire wheel on it. And then uh, we'll get these uh, things bolted down in place and then move on to other things. Hopefully in a couple hours, it's going to be around the zero mark. I'm hoping. Well, I'm waiting for them uh, plates to skin up a little bit, that silicone to skim up, skin up. I'm going to just uh, clean these up, these surfaces. I already found the bolts for them. Little wee stubbies on this top plate. Hopefully, we're not going to uh, lose any in the cavities. That'd be a well, it wouldn't be the end of the world. There's no gears are in there to for these, they just go straight to the bottom and just sit there till the next time the lid comes off. Because I would not be uh, looking for them in too much of an earnest way. Well, I got this open, I'm gonna get a little bit of thin oil, even diesel fuel, I'm, or what's in my uh, 
oil can there for the drill press. I'm just going to pour some oil in on top of these bearings because they are no way to get lubricated once you get the lid on there. There's no research or no nothing like that. So I'll just uh, be right back and we'll put some oil on there. There, that would be enough for that. Good for another 80 years. Okay, I'll just take the... Uh, these are longer bolts for some reason on these side plate or end plates. We'll just uh, take those out of place. There is a remnant of a gasket here that's not been broken, but if I can just get it off there, I'll just take it off. Hopefully it comes off in one piece. Nope, it's, it's old. Okay, just uh, drop this into place. And then the top cap goes on. And then after that, the, uh, we got this spring. And this little keeper and this here uh, cotter pin put in place Okay, now the shifter tower, again. Okay. And that's that tower back together. Now we'll uh, bring out our uh, top plate here for the very top.
Okay, I've got uh, I've got three of these uh, cats, and this is the only one that was actually sealed up properly. All the bolts in, and there was a gasket in place, and the whole interior wasn't rusted up. And the other two, namely the army cat, I'm just going to get on to after this one. The bolts were missing. A couple bolts were in place. No gasket. And it did fill up full of, well, probably not full of water, but uh, a lot of moisture got in. And now the steering clutches are uh, frozen solid. So I have to pull, uh, do the same thing on that Army Cat. Pick this lid right off, pull the bevel gear right out and uh, work at all the uh, steering clutches and free them up. Right away. Okay, the case is uh, pretty much sealed up in that regard. Got to get the winch in and it covers these um, final drive uh, oil. Like that's where you put the oil in for the final drives and check the oil. So there's a casting on that winch that just covers this whole back end here, including these uh, big shafts there that handle the steering clutch rockers. I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which is I gotta put the bolts in these uh, brake pedals, both sides. And then I might as well get some oil and put in that cup that's in between the two steering clutches. And that's going to go into the throw out bearing. And then in the back here, I'm gonna squirt some oil in these two uh, Where are we here? Yeah, there's two of these little oil cups that serve as the uh, thrust bearings for the, uh, uh, to pull, uh, function the uh, steering clutches. I'm just gonna buff up this uh, metal part of the gear shifter. Then I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna buff it up and then take it off and then uh, this knob is actually a, uh, a wooden knob. So I'm just going to uh, bring it in the house, warm it up, and uh, put some JB weld in there or whatever I got handy. And uh, I think that's gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, coming off without breaking breaking it further. Okay, one piece, so we'll just uh, take that in the house and glue that together. Move that uh, shield down. I believe that's the way they're supposed to be run. So we'll get a, a little clamp. That's the way I believe they're supposed to be run. Now we should have enough. Yeah, it goes right to the spark plug, which is kind of handy. We'll move this down the line.
and reattach it. Okay, that's in place. I'm just I don't have my uh, the shielding on. It's uh, broken and deteriorated. Don't believe it needs it. So there, spark plugs are wired in properly. The clutch on the pinion drive is pushed engaged, but it's in neutral here because the pinion is back. So now, I don't know why that's not uh, wanting to uh, turn. It's obviously frozen. So hopefully that'll that key is going to stay on the bottom. in place so we're just gonna get this nut on I have to dig out a big socket and I'll drive it home with the impact other things well we got the camera just right here I'm just going to uh, lift this up and make sure it's in the right place. We'll just uh, secure it with these two bolts and then that'll be all sealed up. I'm sure glad about that being sealed up now because it was so long just covered with a piece of plywood or some old tarp or whatever I had handy and it really wasn't uh, surviving that great. Got lots of water, moisture in it. I can reach over and get my impact without slipping and falling. Got one bolt and we'll put it in place. All the ones I've seen, I know they got two bolts, but all the ones I've seen, they're just held on with one so as you can easily access the uh, window there. So if you have trouble with your uh, starting Bendix, you can adjust the dogs or trigger it so it goes back into neutral or something like that but for now it's just nice to have that on in case it says it's going to warm up and it's going to start raining guaranteed at least there will be no more unwanted rain inside this uh, rear end of this machine okay I know it's not the last time I'm in here, but we're getting close. Okay, I managed to find everything, and we'll just uh, cinch this nut home.
I think she just had a little moisture in the cylinders. Turning around now, it's got nice compression, this motor. All right, so I think that's going to be it for today. We're going to put our equipment away. Okay, another another cold afternoon working on this old girl. I kind of wish that I would have gone ahead on it last summer, last fall at one point in time or another in the warmer weather. It would have been a lot nicer, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. So we've got it all buttoned up. Everything's sealed up. Uh, gaskets etc etc so it won't uh, get any more moisture in there it's going to be raining uh, here shortly in another week two something like that but anyway we got a from here it's uh i believe fender time get those fenders on and the and the seat tank actually before that is going to be the winch i can't forget the winch stay tuned for that we'll catch up to you later